So, good morning guys. It's the day after the finals of the Asian Entrepreneurship Awards. Sadly, we didn't actually make the final, so no prize money for us, but you know, I'm not cut up about that. It's a competition and there's lots of other people who are obviously quite more deserving of the prize than we were. And so I just came out this morning uh, just to share a little bit about my thoughts on the future of CrowdRender, what we're going to do um, to get it basically to where we want to be. So in terms of technical stuff, a lot of good things are going to happen. So we're now working on open sourcing the add-on part of CrowdRender. There's two bits. There's a, I suppose, like a core system which deals with distributing all the data and doing all the techie stuff. And then there's just the add-on bit which interfaces with Blender. So that's the bit we want to open source, which is going to be cool. Um, Ton open sourced Blender, you know, nearly 18 years ago. and that's worked out pretty well for him and for Blender in general so we're thinking of doing the same thing in terms of new stuff we're, build, we're working on a whole bunch of stuff renderer, management, queuing system um, fixing the synchronization so there will no longer be any sync fails which I'm sure you guys are all going to be pretty excited about because that's been one of the biggest um, user feedback points of frustration I guess I'd say we're also going to make it more efficient. It's going to use all of your computers all the time, which is going to be really cool. Okay, so that's the technical side of things. So in terms of how we're actually going to survive as an organization or a startup, look, we're really hoping that we can rely on the community for support to develop things. That's our preference. Um, we're not saying no to investment, and I wouldn't bullshit any of you guys who use our software saying we'd never get an investor because if the right one came along and you know they could meet our non-negotiables on uh, not screwing users over and generally realize that we're doing this because we love building software not because we love money um, but we have to be realistic investors um, they bring something of value which is money which we can invest in development but they also want a return on that money so we wouldn't really prefer investment because we know it makes the software probably more expensive. I mean, it's free at the moment, but I'd imagine that might change. So our preferred method is community support. So if you look on our website, you'll notice we've changed our crowdfunding campaign and we're now offering some rewards in return for recurring donations. So I really encourage you guys to check that out, particularly if you're already using CrowdRender for production at all. If you're getting good value out of it and it's helping you produce your content and get paid, um, consider subscribing for a recurring donation to help us out with our costs. Um, the target that we set is pretty low for the first series, or the first phase, um, it's $750 US a month in recurring donations we need to cover just the business costs. And then if we make that target, we'll look at increasing that to hire more developers. So that's pretty much it guys, I'm going to sign off here from Kashiwanoha city in Japan, which is where I am. And before I do though, I just want to say a really big thanks to all the people who already support us. Because without that, we would not have got this far. So to all you guys who are already donating regularly via a subscription, or who have just given us a once-off donation, thanks, like really thanks. And the future is looking pretty good in terms of what we're going to create as a tool. So if you want CrowdRender to stick around, if you want it to get better, if you're behind what we do, then go to our website, or there'll be a link in the description of this video below, and check out the crowdfunding page, and tell us what you think. If you don't like the rewards, let us know, comment, let us know. We love listening to feedback. Your feedback is actually what we use to drive innovation and build better software. So I'm gonna shut up, shut up about that now, and sign off and say thanks everyone and I'll catch you again back in Sydney. Bye.